Well, behind me is the helicopter landing pad for a major hospital just outside of London. It's built on the site of a World War I airfield. But today, the hospital, some doctors, the aviation industry and the regulators, with the support of the UK Space Agency, are working together to create a new chapter in the history of aviation medical services. Apion, part of the NHS Clinical Entrepreneur Programme, aims to establish a network of secure air corridors for electric drones to navigate via satellite-enabled GPS. Each drone will be able to carry COVID-19 samples, test kits and PPE. This will avoid courier call-out waiting times, free up NHS staff, reduce unnecessary physical contact and minimise the risk of secondary transmission of the virus. The project is based at Broomfield Hospital near Chelmsford, where the team's medical drone delivery service will be able to fly samples to labs more regularly, reliably and quickly, improving patient health outcomes. APN was founded by trainee doctors Hamad Jalani and Christopher Law, and they will be installing drone pad infrastructure their aircraft can take off from and land. They'll be at hospitals, laboratories and warehouses. This all began back at school. We've had a long-standing passion for the aviation and space industries, uh, and we've been following it for a number of years. Quite, we were following it for a number of years quite closely. The innovations that were happening then, we saw it was a forth, uh, at the forefront of innovation. Um, but combined with our medical knowledge at university, we realised actually, hang on a second, this innovation which is happening here in the aerospace sector and the space industry, surely it could be applied to the medical industry, and, and surely we could benefit from that amazing technology as well. And that sparked the idea when we actually were looking at some of the disparities in health provision. So we were always uh, aviation nerds, but uh, there was, a, there was we, medicine out our hearts. And so uh, really it started from founding the Dulwich uh, Rocket Society. And then um, at university, we are both doing medicine. And as a result of that, improving patients' pe uh, outcome is really the key uh, to our value. Um, and combining those two made the most sense. And because of COVID, it um, accelerated our project by quite a, a few years. Um, and now we are doing a project where we are uh, you know, delivering items for uh, clinicians and improving patient health outcomes through evidence-based research. Really, I think the, uh, the benefit of having a, a faster but also more reliable way of transportation um, allows us to actually deliver samples and uh, supplies to patients quicker, more reliably and more efficiently as well. Uh, but most importantly, actually, um, you know, the patients always want to be able to be turned around fast and the clinicians want to push them out so that you know, they can be treated faster and they actually improve their health outcomes. Um, and, you know, in this world, uh, everyone is talking about sustainability and having a cleaner uh, way of uh, d uh, delivering items. And what better way to do it than drones, which are fully electric? As, a, as doctors in training at Bart's in the London, uh, we saw that there were logistical issues in the NHS that we thought, hang on a second, we could fix these with some innovative technologies. And that was picked up by Professor Tony Young at the NHS Clinical, Entre Clinical Entrepreneur Programme, who saw, hang on a second, it is a crazy idea, but let's see if it can happen. And here we are. APN, working closely with the Civil Aviation Authority, UK Space Agency, aviation professionals and the emergency services to create the UK's NHS air grid, a network of secure air corridors designed to safely, rapidly and effectively enable drone delivery across the whole NHS. So this is a um, separate lift and thrust VTOL. Um, so the lift motors uh, lift us up in the hover so we can uh, um, approach small sites and then the cruise prop at the back and the wings will allow us to give us the endurance that we need to cover the distances, the sort of 20, 30 kilometres that we need between sites. As the, uh, the, the need of the NHS uh, evolves, then we can uh, give them a bigger fuselage for if they, we run out of uh, volume uh, or we can uh, put on more uh, st uh, stronger lift motors and so on if we run out of weight. As we know, those are the two things that we have a problem with in uh, aviation. The quality of our training is really high and uh, Toby Moores, who's in charge of um, Skylift, came to us and went through our training. He understood that uh, there was a need for regulatory compliance and to make his vision last and to be uh, supportable, he needed real pilots doing the job. I was able to introduce Toby then to Apian via a friend 
and uh, APIAN of course is helping the NHS, putting the NHS at the centre of everything that we're doing now uh, in the fight against Covid and we're able to uh, move samples from one location to another. We're not replacing any part of Test and Trace, we're just supplementing the future capability to, to help with this second wave and, and further waves should they exist. Well, we've often questioned whether any good could possibly come out of this pandemic. But I think it's fair to say this demonstration of collaboration between the hospital, the doctors, the aviation industry, the regulators and the UK Space Agency has really proved that if we work together, we can demonstrate to the world that aviation truly is for good.